Yeah, yeah. I started with Stevie and then left Stevie for <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were upgrading <laughs> i had no clue what was going on they were just like show up come here and i said okay and i i just would always say who am i going to be with because i always wanted to match you yeah. know but my worst gimmick was with you guys because i hated the pleather I you hated, hated the it. SM stuff <laughs> i hated it it was so uncomfortable but i loved you but i just i was so like if i i look at pictures back then i'm like whoa that is not me this is not good. yeah no you all i remember you always just you're like yeah can i wear something else <laughs> no no I just, i'm sorry you gotta be slutty <laughs> yeah no it was fine look i just wanted to work you know that, no. that's all i wanted to do i wanted to work so um, I, do you remember the night we put you through the table yes and we were the first tag team just let your co-host know there <laughs> the first tag team to ever put a woman through the table I'm the first i remember it i remember it very first, well <laughs> i'm the first woman to ever go through a table yes you are yeah so yes, we, we, we 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 share first and you were oh, crying so bad no i wasn't crying i not literal <laughs> tears i was just very nervous yeah and i told you i said don't worry about it anthony we'll take care we'll take yeah. care of you. well yeah um <laughs> okay uh yeah i i just in my mind i told this story before i had no idea that i was going to end up with shane i thought i was going to end up with brian lee because brian kept telling me the whole time you're coming with me you're coming with me he was pitching to paul for gotcha. whatever reason i don't know why but he just kept saying you're gonna end up with me and i i said great i'm going from pleather the chaps like this is like <laughs> not me um so but we're doing all these angles with shane and it's not registering because i just have brian in my ear and i'm saying to myself well, what is this is this angle just are we just gonna get rid of this and then i just automatically go with brian like I had no idea, but like Paul had told me I wasn't going to be with you guys for the long run. So I knew my time with you was going to be short. I just yeah. didn't, I didn't know where I was going to end up, but yeah. no, go ahead. Go ahead. That, that yeah, I mean, you. that's like us. Like we were going to go to Vince. We didn't know they were going to put Terry Reynolds with us. She mm -hmm. was going to be right there. Oh, could you imagine that? No, that would have been interesting. <laughs> That, that would have been, been interesting. Anthony, come on. That would have been crazy. <laughs> uh, but let's let's talk about the, that angle because Shane and I had so much heat working against you after the, the neck thing. Yeah. No, so we, we, we know Shane's side of the story. Yeah. You, you've told your side of the story. Do you feel, I know I, you have to know that it wasn't intentional absolutely okay i took I, honestly i watched it i watched it i watched it uh you gotta remember shane had a crazy match right before that spot mm -hmm. he got knocked he got knocked out in that match he mm -hmm. was unconscious at one time uh we both kind of messed up that spot i'm okay. gonna be honest with you i took the bump wrong i should have okay. took a, i should have took a flat face bump instead of a ddt okay but the way he was supposed to land it, he was supposed to actually land on his ass. But his elbow was kind of behind my head, so it was forcing my head down. Okay. So it was kind of a boat. Like, we both kind of – I take most of the blame because my right arm, I just had surgery on my bicep, and I got it reattached, so it really wasn't that strong yet. Okay. So I only was able to block it with my knee and pretty much my neck, you know. And I did hit the belt dead on, you know. So all I heard was da -da -da crack and oh my gosh. I was unconscious and I rolled over. I seen white and I just laid there and I wiggled my fingers. I wiggled my toes. I said, well, I guess I'm not dead. So I rolled out of the ring, but I had no idea I broke my neck. I thought I jammed it. I've never hurt my neck before. Yeah. I mean yeah. that, you know, that, that, and then, you know, when we did the, the gimmick where we had the, um, uh, it, you know, you, you threw the tail and he grabs you and we do the gimmick like this the people crazy <laughs> what that was one of the scariest moments i think ever because now i i took a bump 
So you I'm did. sell I'm selling, right? Now Gary's selling, and all I know is Shane grabs me and I can't get my footing. And he's dragging me, and my feet are dragging, and he's got me under my armpits, and I could not get I couldn't get to where I can walk. But people were literally throwing punches at us over the guardrail. I people jumped over the guardrail. They, they did. Because we we had a, a swarm of people around us. Like we were two people in in a cocoon of of uh security and workers and just everybody. And I just remember being drug. I couldn't breathe. And I'm I'm trying to sell, obviously, you know. But yeah. I said, this is turning into a shoot because I can't friggin' breathe and I can't walk right now and I can't see. And the it was like the white noise at one point, you know, when you get that. Wow. It was so scary. And I just remember looking at you laying there and I'm just like, oh, my God, I think we have a winner here, but I'm scared to death. <laughs> no, I couldn't. I, I was laying there because I remember I was still in the halo. So I couldn't. Yeah. Really look, I couldn't look and see. All I seen was shadows around me. And I'm like, this don't even sound right. Something's wrong. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah. And I, I just remember and, and my heart broke for you. Number one, because I, I genuinely loved you as a person. Um, and I knew like this hinders your career, obviously, right? But watching Gary sit in the back was the most heartbreaking thing. Cause you it was just like, you know, you had no life to you at this point. Well, that's you know, honestly around, that's what Paul Yeah, if you remember, well, this is what Paul said. He said, Listen, you're not a pit bull no more. You are now Gary Wolf. That's it. And that's how, because when I pitched, see, you got to remember, they didn't want to do any of this. Okay. I had to go to Todd Gordon's office and say, look, I talked to the doctor. I broke my neck. Okay. It's going to heal in six weeks. I said, and then I need to get rehabilitated. So he told me about six months. So I took eight anyway. I took eight. I took an extra two months anyway. And then uh, Todd Gordon's like, hell no. Because at that time, I'm not going to lie. They all thought that I was going to probably sue the company or something, which I wasn't going to do. That was never like negligence or something like that. Whatever. I mean, I had lawyers banging on my door like crazy when I was in the hospital. It was ridiculous. Because Todd Gordon and Stevie came to see me, you mm -hmm. know, they couldn't believe it. And because uh, I broke my neck on a Saturday, I didn't know it was broke till Monday. That's right. when I went to the hospital. Right. So if I would have just sneezed, I would have been oh, done. Oh, my God. So God was looking after me at that point. But like I said, Todd said, no way. Paul said, no way. Of course. So I had to give him like a week or two to let him think about it. Then I came back again. I said, look, man, look at Bruno San Martino's angle back in the day in WWF when he broke his neck with Stan Hansen. I said, look how over that guy. I said, let's do something. I look at Magnum when he got in the car accident. I said, everything happens. You know what I mean? I said, look, it's a tragedy. It happened. It sucks, but I'm OK. So I'm ready to go back to work. Let's do it. And then that's when we started. And I could see your face when you were doing those promos with Shane. Oh, I mean, they were brutal, man. I hated it. I hated it. Like, talk about Jerry's kids. I'm like, I can't do that. I'm going to go to hell. <laughs> no, you have to do it. And I was like, I'm not saying it. I'm not doing it. And Shane's like, you put the pencil in your mouth and you signed the check. And I'm like, oh, we're going to hell. <laughs> awful. Awful. But I, I like, you know, as a shoot, it broke my heart to see you hurt. Like, I hate yeah. it. I hated it. Uh, but the angle was great. The angle elevated all of us to, like, this different level. And oh it was my unbelievable. God. I mean, honestly, I mean, he, Shane was a great heel anyway. But that put the icing oh, on yeah. top. I mean, that was the cherry on top that he needed to get where he had to go. I mean, yeah. that, night, that night when you dropped that skirt and had the franchise's gimmick on your ass. Yeah, that was, you know, and then throwing me down. Nobody had that kind of heat in, in ECW. We, I mean, look at all those great angles that have been through ECW. Great yeah. angles. You got Shane. I mean, you got uh, Raven with Tommy Dreamer. You got Sandman. Or, I mean, all these, you know, with Raven getting crucified. Our, our angle still was the best and biggest angle. 
I think personally. Yeah. Oh, I I, say let me say as a fan, I mean, and I, you know, I do a show with Shane. I do the show with Francine. I've heard them talk about it a million times and, and the intensity and I've gone back and watched it. And it's, I mean, there, there could not be any more of a believable angle in the history of wrestling than, than that one. And that night that you get thrown down, it is like, it's, oh. it's intense to watch still to this day as okay. a fan back then. And now, I mean, it's got to be up there as one of the best ever. So you guys did great. <laughs> I mean, I, and, then, and, and then like our first pay-per-view, you know, I was getting ready in my mind because I was already back and I was doing Shane all over. I mean, we were doing the loop right. and I was doing Shane. So I figured, okay, pay-per-view time, uh, they're going to have me and Shane. Since we've been doing the loop together, I figured it was going to be down. And then that's when Paul said, no, I'm going to save it because I want to get one more I quit match out of it. And I was just like, well, that's your, I mean, I can't block, I can't yeah. argue with the booker. I can't do it. So he's like, I'm going to have Anthony wrestle him. And then you're going to be in the crowd just to do some, and then jump him. you know? So I know. I, I, we should have ended it right there at that pay-per-view match. Because like I said, we were preparing ourselves for it because we worked in every single town we were in, me and him. I know. At that yeah. point, and we were doing good stuff, cartwheel stuff. You know, when you go for the tombstone, you flip it oh, back. It was, it was we were great doing work. Yeah, yeah, we were doing great shit. So we were both talking, man, this pay-per-view is going to be awesome. We're going to kill it. We're going to kill this fucking match, you know, because it's got so much heat. Yeah. And then, like I said, last minute, he's like, he was pushing Anthony at that time, which is fine because they gave Anthony the TV belt, too. So we're the only tag team actually that had both TV titles and the tag titles. Right. Which was cool, you know, because we, 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 you know, Francine, Paul wouldn't let us do our, our promos because he knew one take and we were out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so he'd keep us there along some nights, but oh, most of, of the time, yeah, you know, we were there till four o'clock in the morning sometimes. I, yeah, I do know that. 